Hello everyone, my name is Hald Richards from The Game Train and um, well, to say that this is rather unusual would be an understatement for we don't normally dwell into the realm of the NES. But hey, today's a special occasion, so we might as well. What do we have today? An awesome fucking game, that's what! Hell yeah, boy, just listen to that fucking soundtrack, that's enough to tell you what's what. Although, if I remember correctly, I probably still left in a few things from the previous attempt of recording this game. Let me see if I can get rid of those before we continue. Oh, I don't have to, but already gone. Good. Uh, you know, my problem is that I actually tried to record this just not too long ago, but my recorder crapped out, so we're doing this again. Hopefully this time everything works out fine. Hmm, a mushroom cloud. I wonder what that means. After many years of space colony development, Jay's father has passed away. That's terrible. The evening news reported that Jay's father's death was an accident? But was it? Not oh, bad. That, that, that is a pretty good floppy. Several days later, Jay finds a floppy disk left in his father's room. Make sure not to copy. I hear the terrorists are planning against the colony development. Curse that terrorist. You must complete my mission, if I cannot. What is his mission anyway? They will pay the price for the death of my father. Wonder what the price is. And of course, most importantly, is the price right? <laughs> uh, we can wonder about these things later. A is to jump, B is to shoot. And that's all you need to know. I think that's how it is? I might be mistaken. Whatever the configuration is right now, it doesn't matter because I'm using the fucking Xbox 360 controller. And that still makes everything a lot more challenging than it needs to be. Ah, oh, and uh, in my current uh, case, I set it up to be A, a shoots and B jumps. That probably gets a lot of people confused when they're playing NES games. Me, not so much. So how the hell did I get to this game? And uh, what's the big occasion? Why are we playing this video spiele from the NES? Oh, the occasion is pretty simple. I mean, I've been uh, watching a stream of my friends where he draws uh, pixel art. And... Uh, he was playing the soundtrack of this game at one point, and I figured out the name, thanks to that special occasion. And after that, I just decided, you know, that soundtrack sounds pretty fucking nice. I, I want to listen to it in my spare time, so, to hear everything in its full glory. So I do just that, and man, was that soundtrack fucking sweet. Just listen to it yourselves. Fucking sweet soundtrack, man. Especially considering that it's the NES. It doesn't have that good instrumentation. It simply can't compete with uh, more advanced uh, consoles of the time. But it sounds fucking great. And that's all that matters. Well, I already met you, you son of a bitch. I know your strategies. But I still got hit a couple of times. <laughs> okay, hold on a second, helicopter. Okay. <laughs> Had to scratch an itch. So the first boss in this area, in this game, is a helicopter that drops drones, which are super fucking annoying. 
if they get close to you, they never fuck off, they start jumping right into you. So the sooner you can get rid of them, the better. This is probably why we give you the machine gun when you are about to enter this area, so you can kill these fuckers faster. Ugh, yay, yay. <laughs> Dios mio. Show me what you got. Come on. It doesn't help that these bastards jump around everywhere too. They hop around like crazy. It seems like the, the machine gun can stun lock them a bit. You suck it, bitch. And you can go home, helicopter. Looks like it's doing just that. Well, okay then, that was pretty easy, right? Well, mission complete. Except now. <laughs> now the helicopter is picking a fight with you. Just shoot the fuck me light. <laughs> now I can safely say that this is the earliest game that I know of that has a fuck me light on a boss. What kind of game do you know that has a fuck me light that's earlier than this? Let me know. I'd love to hear. Bam! Now that's old school explosions right there. Looks surprisingly satisfying. I like the way that looked. The environments, the, bo the enemies, the bosses, they all look so strangely familiar to some people, especially those who are interested in anything that has to do with the Terminator, I imagine. Well, you might be interested in hearing a bit of trivia about this game, particularly the part that says this was supposed to be a Terminator game by Sunsoft. But as you may know, Sunsoft has never really developed a Terminator game. Well, there's a little bit of history behind this. This game, as I already said, was supposed to be a Terminator game, but at the time, Sunsoft already had another license, and that was um, for Batman. So instead of developing an, a Terminator game and a Batman game, they decided to go for the more popular choice at the time, which happened to be Batman. And what did we get out of it? We got an awesome fucking game on both the NES and the Sega Genesis. I don't know about you, I didn't play the NES version of uh, Batman, but I played the Sega Genesis version. And the Sega Genesis version is just fucking sweet. And from what I hear, the NES version doesn't fuck around either. It's pretty good too. That's great to hear. All the more uh, better for me, because I mean... This marks the start of us picking up on the NES games. I'm starting to get uh, into this shit. And uh, the more suggestions I can pick up uh, for NES games, the better. I mean, I like to, I'd like to see more of these games. I'd like to try more of these out. I want to start out a little easier, you know. I don't want to start out with the Castlevanias or anything like that, because I know those games don't fuck around, I know that they're fucking hard. I don't want to do that though. Not that it makes this game any less challenging as you can see. It has challenge, it doesn't fuck around. But it's not as difficult as, say, the Castlevania. No, this one's a little easier. <laughs> if you know what you're doing, of course. Me, not so much, but hey, I don't need to. I think my skills that I've developed from other games are enough to defeat this game on the first playthrough. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully this time the recorder doesn't fuck up. In case you're wondering, yes, you can actually find some health items. They're just pretty fucking rare, that's all. <laughs> Shit. So it's a better idea to try not to get hit in the first place. Not that easy to do, keep that in mind. But hey, at least you don't have to worry about your uh, ammo ever running out. That is just Gucci. I do wonder, how do you get around this particular problem? 
where you're falling down into an enemy. There's nothing you can do about it. Is there an easier way to get down? I hope, because I don't know how you do it. But yeah, all things considered, it was the music of this game that picked up my attention. Because I heard it, and I was like, this sounds pretty fucking good, I wanna hear more. So I heard more, and then I got to the conclusion, let's check out the game. If it's as good as the music, then I gotta play it. So far I can say, yeah, it is pretty good, but it takes a bit of effort to get into it and a bit of effort to not get killed all the time. That mini boss, he's pretty tough. And the regular enemies are not, uh, not pushovers either, they don't fuck around. So this game tests your metal, and that's good, you want a challenging game, right? I know I do. Oh fucking hell, he pantsed me. He shot me in the ass. Fucking what what kind of robot does that? <laughs> anyway, if you died in that spot, you actually get pushed a little further ahead. That's kind of an interesting um, thing. I don't know if I should call it a glitch or not, because I don't know if it is. It kind of feels like one, but is it? I don't think so. And that enemy that flew over me, he just kind of glitched out. Well, okay. Fine by me, I didn't want to fight him anyway. Fucking... Fucking Subnautica's propulsion cannons. <laughs> Seriously, it looks like a Subnautica's propulsion cannon, doesn't it? The resemblance is simply uncanny. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna need a gun. As I know who the fuck this guy is. He's a bitch, that's who he is. Can't use too much of the ammo though. Cause I need uh, to kill him, but not use up all of it. Here we go. What did he drop? He dropped the homing missile. I know everything about this game up until this point. Cause uh, around here, after this boss, my screen recorded crap that. Hopefully not this time. Okay, so this boss, it kind of looks like you would something you would see in a Terminator game. Especially judging by the later Terminator games that he saw. Especially the ones on the NES. Well, minus the fact that it shoots bubblegums and uh, tries to claw you in with its fucking claw game. <laughs> that claw game is strong on that bot, but I don't give a shit. I just killed a Terminator lookalike <laughs> with an awesome Batman-esque soundtrack in the background. But guess what? Just like I said, this has some elements from the uh, repurposed um, Terminator game, but it is mostly, you know, what's that word that you don't get to use very often? Ah, yes. MOSTLY ORIGINAL! I don't know what to tell you guys, but I, I think I... I think I... I think I got a tear in my eye. Slightly original? Most... not even slightly original. MOSTLY original. When do you get to say that? Not very often, unfortunately. At least nowadays. Nowadays, you don't get to say the word original quite a lot. So I'm happy to say that even a, an old fucking game like this gets to have a little bit of originality. Not in its greatest uh, entirety, of course. But, hey, some is better than none. Seriously, these Terminator lookalikes... Yeah, they do definitely resemble Terminators, but they're not Terminators. That fucking music, though. I think the music is the best fucking part. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Seriously, the music is what roped me into this the most. I just can't get enough of this fucking soundtrack. And now that I'm playing the game, 
It's like, hell yeah, it's a good idea that I picked up this fucking game. Now this is a way to start your adventures in the fucking NES library. What was the first NES game you started out with? What was the first one that got you really hooked in? I'd love to know. Share your experiences, man. I mean, that's what we're here for, right? To talk about fucking games. Man, the fucking soundtrack. I'm literally... <laughs> I'm literally just uh, getting queasy for this fucking uh, soundtrack. I just can't get enough of it. I just like how it sounds. It sounds so great. And considering that this is NES uh, uh, instruments, like come on, let's be serious here. The NES instruments are nothing special. There are much better instruments out there on the not even that greatly advanced consoles. The SNES, for example, yeah, it has pretty good uh, instruments, but. Uh, I wouldn't call them the best ones I've heard. I think the best ones from the old school uh, consoles were, were probably the Genesis, but it depends on how you use them, of course. So this is entirely subjective, but every time I heard any soundtracks from the NES, I always expected a certain style to them, and I always got that certain style. A certain style of uh, kind of being basic, you know? Kind of like. You know, something you would call an 8-bit style, I guess. Something that you would expect from an 8-bit console. I don't know how to explain it properly, but it's just something that I expect from the NES when I hear the soundtracks in other games. Yeah, I died. <laughs> that section is kind of difficult to get through. But this game... It definitely brings out what the best of the NES, and this is something that uh, Sunsoft is really good at. They might not be very good at making games, but damn do they know how to make a soundtrack that's catchy as fuck. I mean, have you heard the Batman soundtrack on the NES? Man, that shit's catchy as shit. There's just no other words for it. Say it as you want, but the only correct way of saying it is, it's catchy as shit. <laughs> what about the Superman music on um, Sega Genesis? That shit is catchy as shit. Hell, even the Batman on Sega Genesis is catchy as shit. Not, a, not all of it, but a good chunk of it. And this? This is Sunsoft again. Like I probably said a million times by now. But it sounds fucking great. I'm loving it. It's catchy as shit. That should be like a rating system. Catchy as shit out of 10. <laughs> I'm mostly excited though, not only because of uh, finding a good fucking game, but also because I get to record... like... An old school console game again without quitting on it in the in the first two minutes or so. But seriously, I've been having this problem lately. I tried to record a game that's on an uh, on the Sega Genesis or something or something similar, and uh, I just can't do it. I don't have the spirit for it or something. I just don't have. Uh... Yeah, I guess spirit is the right words. I just don't have the spirit to move on past uh, the five minute mark or something. But this, I wanna go all the way to the end, dude. I wanna see the end. I wanna beat the shit out of that boss. I'm in it to win it now. Oof, that was close. Nearly got hit by a ping pong. <laughs> I think the soundtrack really helps. I don't know, what do you think makes a game uh, just all the more worth it? What do you think is the most essential part of a game, besides gameplay of course? Gameplay is a given. A, a good game has to have good gameplay, that's no shit. <laughs> it's like, oh really, good gameplay? Yeah, that sounds like a, a thing. <laughs> yes, that's exactly a thing that you need in a good game. But what else? What else do you think is a necessity for a good game? 
Me, I think music is essential for a good game. You can have good gameplay, but if your music is trash, I'm not playing it. Simply because I can't stand the fucking music. And with these older games, you wouldn't really have the option of muting the music like you would have nowadays. Like the only thing you could do is either turn off all of the sounds or not. I don't want to turn off all of the sounds though. Sweet. Yeah, I don't want to turn off everything. I want to hear the fucking sound effects. But you can't do that with these kind of games. I mean, with emulators you could probably do it, but what's the fun in that? And even then, if you turn off the music, you're still missing an integral part of the game, which is the music. How can you have a, a game without music? I don't. I just don't see it. I suppose nowadays you could have ambient music and such, but I don't know. I'm the kind of guy who wants music like like what we're hearing right now. I want something catchy as shit. I don't want to sit in silence or some basic tunes. Of course, I appreciate the more basic ambient tunes as well, if they're sounding nice. But this catchy as shit stuff that we're hearing right now, this is what I'm living for. I want more of this. Oh fuck! I got Zapparinoed. Where do I spawn? Oh, I'm here. Okay. Speaking of catchy as shit tunes, you know what we need to play? We need to play Streets of Rage. Yeah boy. It's been so long since I last played it. And of course now I have to make a decision what kind of version do I want to play? Like let's be honest here we're going to play the f we're going to play all three of them. Cuz well I got to see what the other two have to offer naturally. But there are two two options. We can either play the originals on Sega Genesis or we can play the updated ones on the Streets of Rage uh, remake. Of which one is better? Honestly, I think that's mostly subjective. As far as uh, Streets of Rage 1 is concerned, the better one would be the remake. Because you can simply make the gameplay so much smoother. You have so less of the bullshit that the first game has, and so much more of everything that's good. It's just so much better. Like, the music is great, the gameplay is updated to be even better, it's just the definitive choice. Man, that laser went through fucking fast. PLEASE DON'T KILL ME! Fucking hell, die! What the fuck, dude? That thing is unkillable! Unless it doesn't like my handgun. Well, okay then, fucking asshole. I'll switch out to something more powerful. Piece of shit. <laughs> Imagine this. An enemy doesn't want to die from a fucking handgun. He wants only the good shit. <laughs> How rude and inconsiderate. I'm trying, you know, but ammo is expensive in the future. Even the future sucks. <laughs> Even the future nothing works. <laughs> oh, but if there is one thing that Sunsoft loves to do, is to crank up the challenge to annoying degrees. Remember Superman for Sega Genesis? That game had some bullshit. That train level? Yeah. I'd like to know who actually beat it legitimately, like without cheats. I'd love to know who did it. Cause I can't fucking do it. Like, I just don't fucking know how you do it. I can't. There's just nothing I can do. It's too fucking hard for me. So yeah, I'd love to know who done it. What the fuck? I thought he only shoots at the floor. Oh, these do home in. Well, okay then. I hope they can kill him fast enough though. Oh, thank goodness. Well, look at my HP. 
My HP is fucked, boy. And I got a fucking boss now. Do tell, how the fuck am I gonna win? I'm probably not gonna win. That's the thing. But let's switch to that new gun. It's a laser gun. Oh! That's a lot of shit to avoid. With so little HP to spare, I'm dead. But hey, I continue. Where does it put me? Oh, right at the beginning of this level again. Well, I can't complain too much. That music is damn good after all. But uh, I kind of wish I had more lives. <laughs>